it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I got a couple of things to, to say, and, uh, I'll say them. Well, basically I've, uh, I bought a couple of things, you know, let's get that out of the way first. My good friend, uh, Seb the Half-Blind Gamer, whose channel, uh, I, I mean, he's been, uh, not putting up videos for a long time, but he's, he's started again, and, uh, well, I think Seb stopped making videos on a regular basis before I started watching YouTube, and, um, he's, like, been picking up on gameplay videos that he started in 2013. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of going through all of his videos. Well, not all of them, but the gameplays that he's doing. One of which, uh, which is a recent series, is uh, the Castle in the Darkness uh, game, which is awesome. You have to get it. Get it on Steam. It's uh, it's great. I guess it compares to Shovel Knight a bit because it's a modern game in uh in a, you know with a retro look and it has a lot of retro references some of which i don't even recognize but uh, you know watching seb's channel seb is really funny he has a he has a i mean i'm sticking feather, feathers up your ass here but uh, seb but i i don't care about that uh you're funny you know he has a couple of very funny remarks and uh i i, I love watch i i love it's like watching Seb plays, like just sitting there and watching someone else play a video game. I, I like that. I like gameplays. What I also notice is that gameplay videos get very little views. I, I, I don't know why that is. But I am the one, uh, you know, the gameplays that I watch you know, are like, well, not all of them. The Elite Dangerous videos are pretty well uh, visited. Not mine, though, but uh, some of them are. Anyway, off topic. Seb's gameplays, Castle in the Darkness was great, but he's been uh, picking up on an old uh, series, um, Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Blood Cain Legacy of Omen. Omen Cain Legacy of Blood. Uh, uh, well, the, the real title is uh, Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Uh, which I have purchased. Now, uh, um, PS1 games, you know, who who in his right mind buys PS1 games uh, these days, unless they're really fancy titles or really... Uh, um, but I saw Seb play this and I thought, wow, well, you know, this is um, Crystal Dynamics game. I liked it. I, I thought, you know, let's get it. But uh, you know, uh, Seb said, "Well, you know, if you uh, if you can find one for twenty or thirty bucks, that's a good price." And I found this one for ten. It's kind of a, you know, what I like to call like a stiff sale. That people, you know, you, you know, you, you get the sale done and you get a good price. But you know, the guy is is a little like. It's always guys. You know, the girls that I've, or the, you know, the women that I've dealt with buying secondhand stuff off, uh, they're, they're always nice and, uh, uh, but guys can sometimes be like, you know, jerks. They sell this stuff, but, uh, this one actually, it just came in an envelope and it was, it's, it's undamaged and it's just what he said it would be, but he's just like, you know, uh, taking a very long time to respond and, and then just responding like with five word sentences and I you know I like uh, but uh, anyway the, uh, it has like a, an advert for pandemonium on the back I think I have pandemonium one and two there are two uh, versions of that game there's a nice thick manual but you know over 
in the Netherlands and, and, and in Europe, you get nice thick manuals because there's seven languages in there. Feeding. Oh, yeah. Uh, this, this game, Blood Omen Legacy of Cain, is like a top-down uh, hack-and-slash RPG adventure game uh, where you play uh, a vampire. You get to change into different forms, like a bat or a, a werewolf, or you can get to wear like a human mask, so the enemies won't recognize you as being a uh, being a vampire. But he's very sarcastic. Kane is very sarcastic in his in his in the things, just like uh, um, uh, medieval resurrection. It's just a, a funny. It makes you laugh. It makes you laugh. So, I got this one, and I've noticed that this, this, um, it's also on the front, has this, like, this black bit, uh, and it, it's not a copy, I mean, it's a, it's a, the real deal, but, uh, I don't know, it's different, never seen this, uh, Blood Omen Legacy of Cain, top-down RPG-like FF Fantasy thingy, uh, and it's sort of mazy, and it's a, you collect magic, and you collect health points, and you have to solve puzzles and fight things here, and get over there to get something there, and blah blah blah, left and right, and uh, looks like a good game. And I've seen the gameplay of this, so actually two things: try and get your hands on this. If you're like me and you're cheap, you can get it for a tenner, which I did. Uh, and, uh, or, or go and watch uh, Seb's uh, Half Blind Gamers uh, play through this. So I purchased a video game, right? That's the, that's the message here. For the PS1. And uh, on the matter of uh, retro gaming, last weekend was a, um, there was like uh, a flea market uh extravaganza going on so I went I think I went to four flea markets on the same day and I kind of had a feeling that during the first one I found something and I I thought I have to pick this up because I'm gonna not find anything else today and I was right so I, I was right to buy I'll reach over here and grab it It was kind of looking sorry, very sorry, basically. Uh, and it's not that I that I didn't already have one, but I, you know, I, I, there was this GameCube, and it's this. This is in a place. I I live in an area where where people are very religious. Uh, you know, there are religious groups, you're Christians, but you know, you have all kinds of different splinter groups of. Christianity here, and uh, they just don't play video games very much, and uh, and the, the the flea markets they hold are usually like old furniture and and copper pans, and they sell pancakes and stuff. So you know you're not going to find any video games. You, you, you know, uh, uh, books, novels, and that kind of thing. But I saw this one looking very sorry. It came with, uh, let me hold them up, came with two uh, controllers, uh, and it was looking dirty. It, it was looking like uh, it had been in a barn. That's, you know, it didn't just have dust on it, it had the specific kind of, I've been in a barn dust. You know that kind of dust? Um, but I saw it had the... Um, the GameCube player. I also saw that it was open and it had a game in it. It was a FIFA game, FIFA 7, uh, which I threw away because it was uh, it was all scratched up, but it had done uh, a good thing uh, in protecting the lens of this little puppy. Uh, so I, I tried to close the door and uh, it didn't uh, want to stay closed, it opened up. And I tried to look for a power cord, uh, which wasn't there. So 
I was looking at a very dirty thing. Uh, this wasn't priced, by the way, which I like. You know, you can haggle with someone. If it if it has a price on it, you already have a starting point. Now I can say, you know, I'm, I I told the guy, well, you know, it's 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 broken. It doesn't have the power cord. Uh, I'm not gonna pay much for this. And and I I sort of uh, picked this up and I picked up a DVI cable, uh, an HDMI cable, and some other PlayStation cable with an extra exit. I'm gonna. It's pretty heavy. Um, so I got it. He said, "Well, you know, ten bucks for the whole deal." So I paid ten bucks for this, the two controllers, which was actually, you know, most of the of the reason why I I, I wanted. Uh, the set like for the two controllers, ten bucks. So I, I th I'm gonna do that. I already have this, like in, in exactly the same color. Um, I I got home. I opened it up. I cleaned it with like baby wipes and uh, and and uh, isopropyl alcohol and uh, and it cleaned it very well. The uh, I've been in a barn. Uh, kind of dust uh, came off uh, off the controllers as well. I cleaned the cable. I turned it on. It worked perfectly. I didn't have to do it. I cleaned the lens just, just for good measure, and it works fine. It works fine. So I have a GameCube and two controllers. I have it set up next to my other GameCube. So I have a sort of a like a I don't know. You call that SLI when you put two graphics cards together? Well, anyway, I, I I'm pretty happy that I. Uh... So if you're looking for a GameCube, uh, just to contact me because I have two. That's what I've uh, picked up. Now for the news. Now for the news. I'm pretty, I, you know, uh, we, we haven't said anything, but uh, uh, Eve Euler, uh and uh, Donnie Campbell and I have decided to play a game. Uh, but not a video game, we're going to play a real uh, role-playing game, an RPG. But the one that you actually play with dice. Now, is that cool or what? I've never done that. We're gonna do the Star Wars Saga one. So we've all we've uh, you know each of us, uh, well not each of us. Donnie's gonna be the game master, so he's gonna play like the enemies and he's gonna set the stage and he's gonna be, you know, he's gonna narrate the story and uh, you know he's he's gonna control the game basically and not be a character in it. Um, so far it's uh, just Giles and I, and we both. Uh, you know, set up our characters, and uh, setting up a character is not as easy as I thought it was. You know, I I just started, <coughs> sorry, writing uh, writing some stuff up, uh, but you have to like throw dice to uh, to determine your strength and your intelligence and your wisdom and then all that and your defense, and you have to uh, like determine how much credit uh, credits you have, how many credits you have, and what kind of armor you you have uh, you know what species you are what class you are blah 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 we spent like uh like an hour or two doing that uh, but we we both set up our characters so now we're basically ready to start the campaign that donnie is uh, set up so we're gonna do that on google hangouts and probably broadcast it or record it and and upload it so you'll be able to, to watch it or maybe even uh uh, sort of watch it live, but if you want to watch it live, we're gonna uh, say something about when and where. Uh, it's not we haven't even set a like a starting day. We just have the characters and the campaign, and that and we're, we're we're sort of ready to go. So stay tuned for that. That's like uh, news uh, news item number one. And uh, I had something else that I wanted to say. News item number two. Um, I can't remember now. I don't know. Well, I've been playing Elite Dangerous, but that's not really news, is it? Uh, I, I, I don't know. 
No clue. No. No, that's it, I think. Just, uh, I, I'm going to keep this uh, video short, I believe. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, uh, there's another thing coming up that I've been promising for a while. Some of you know this. Some of you may not. But I act. I'm, I'm uh, part of a, a couple of, uh, like, uh, theater groups. Uh, and, and I do some, I mean, so it's all amateur stuff, but, uh, I did, uh, take part in a play, uh, last year, or was that this year? No, it was, we played it this year, we played it this year, that was recorded, it was actually professionally recorded with three cameras, but, uh, regardless of the professional level of the recording, two of the cameras uh, uh, turned out to, uh, you know, to have not worked. So we basically just have uh, the one, uh, the one uh, camera. But the the editing has been done, and either this week or next week we're gonna see it for the first uh, for the first time. <coughs> and I'm gonna get a copy too. So. The thing I promise is to show you guys some of the acting. So I'm going to be putting up a video um, of that uh, play. Not the entire play, but just a couple of the bits that uh, uh, that has me in it. Just to show you my acting. Uh, it'll be in Dutch though, so, you know, uh, if you're from the Netherlands, Belgium, or South Africa, you'll be able to follow, and uh, otherwise, uh, I'm not going to subtitle it. Uh, but it is, it is an American play, uh, it's called uh, The Curious Savage, and I play uh, Jeffrey. The Curious Savage is a play by John Patrick, by the way. So that's one thing. Uh, the last thing, she now that I'm on a roll, um, the last thing that I wanted to say is that we have, uh, and with we, uh, I've been uh, in touch with uh, Eva Euler and Donnie Campbell uh, a lot the, uh, the past few weeks. Uh, and we've um, made a separate channel, which is called Hardcastle Gaming. I'll try to put links everywhere I can. Hardcastle Gaming, which is just meant for all of our gameplay videos. So that our regular channels uh, don't get like swamped with uh, gameplay videos. It was just a, a thought to do that, so we're just going to throw them all together. I'm going to link to that. Uh, if, if there's a, like a specific gameplay that I want to show on my channel, I'll just do that. Otherwise, <coughs> uh, I mean, very few of you are, maybe not even, uh, are interested in my gameplays. Uh, but I'll, I'll link to that channel as often as I can. Hardcastle Gaming. I'll like put a description in my... A link. I'll put a link to Hardcastle Gaming YouTube channel in my description, uh, so that you can always find your way there. There. And that is it. I really don't know what to talk about next, so that means that is the end of this video. And um, I wish you all a very good night. And uh, happy gaming. I just realized that I don't really have an ending. Other than bye. But everybody, bye. Um, I thought, well, no, there can be only one. I, I, that was one that I had, but uh, I'm just going to end it. See ya.